All right. I'm Bill Lutz, uh, professor in mechanical engineering, and I'm asking that Charter has her English 1900 class write a manual, an operating manual on our Brothers Wire EDM. The EDM stands for Electro Discharge Machining, which is this machine here. This is a little bit different style of machining manufacturing in that The majority of the machining is done or cut with a wire. We cut between a combination of a thin copper wire and electrical spark. And I'll show you a little bit here inside the machine. The part gets mounted down here like this. The wire circulates through and it cuts into a tank full of water. Any material which is electrical, electrically conductive can be cut. Here's an example of a part that we did on this machine and it kind of shows you why we do this because we get a very fine pattern. We don't have the cutter whip to worry about so we get a very fine pattern, uh, a lot better detail with the machine. The one drawback of it is the slowness of operation. machine used for in industry? I mean obviously to cut parts, but what kind of parts normally will it, will it cut, does it cut? It will cut basically I mean, any type of part for any type of industry. Basically what they do is they look for parts with very fine detail, very fine configurations that's what they cut with. Mm -hmm. Most of these are set up to cut. The operator would get the machine set up, machine running, turn it on and walk away and come back in four, five, six hours and be done. They just kind of run on, 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 by themselves. And so what we're going to be doing here to show us how to basically get it set up. To get it set up so we can so run a program, yes. Run and yes. We can walk away. Yes. Okay. And you need an instruction manual for the basic setup procedures up Cor to the point of actually running it. Correct. Okay. Correct. So that's what we're looking at. Um, there's going to be two phases of this. One we're going to be doing here on the machine itself. And the other one we're going to take it back to the computer where we actually send our program up to this location. So we're going to show you two different locations of it. The first operation we need to do in the machine obviously is power it up, turn it on. We want to be sure the emergency stop is pulled out. That locks in, twist it, and it should come out. And the second thing we're going to do is hit the power up button. The green button here says power up. You wait, and then it comes up to a screen such as this. This is what you see when you first start it up. And again, here is the main keypad for the machine. There's a lot of keys but we're going to be using a very few of them. So we'll kind of show you which ones they are. The first operation we need to do is the same as for any CNC machine is an operation called homing in which we'll send the machine to a fixed location which for this will be this wire head all the way up and the table will come all the way this way and out. And over on the machine, you push the home button. It should light up a little red light in the corner. And right now, it's starting to do a homing operation. It doesn't seem like it must be happening, but it is. It's, it's a slow process. Make sure it gets started here. You can see now it's starting to move. See the nozzle starting to come up to this corner up here. This is the home position. <laughs> so right now it's still going through a homing cycle. It'll, if you watch it, it'll, it'll line up the heads. It needs to go back and forth. Everything else in the machine right now.
And this process will continue. We'll know when it's done because that light will go out. When that red light goes out, then the homing cycle is done. While it's homing, like I said, this is a slow operation. This is the upper wire head. This is the lower wire head, wire circling through here. Here's the part we're going to cut. They refer to this as the water tank. And obviously there's a door in the front that closes up and secures it the whole bit. Okay. If you notice now the light's out. So now it's home. The next operation we need to do is set it up to start cutting. What this involves is we'll bring the lower head from where it's at here over close to the part. So on the machine, the manual light should be on and the jog light should be on and the XY axis light should be on. We should have three lights on right now. If not, this pushing them come on. This pad here would do my jogging for me. The X direction will be right and left as you face it, and the Y will be in and out. So right now I'm going to hit the X button. You notice it's moving over. Since right now we don't really have a part per se that we're cutting, for all, we're all for the sake of the manual, just get close to the part that way be good enough. The last operation over here on setup is we need to bring this upper head down as close as possible down here. To do that again, the manual light will be on, the jog light will be on, and when you hit, hit the Z axis. And notice here is plus Z minus Z is coming down to Z. Generally, I mean, if we're actually cutting apart now, we wouldn't keep this in about 10 thousandths. We're not gonna do it that close, but right now, just get it close. Okay. That's 10 thousandths. Of an, inch. of an inch, yes. When you get that all done, we'll close up the door and latch it. The last operation we need to do to set up is get the wire. If you notice we had no wire between there, we need to thread the wire in here. So we need to close the door because it'll spray water. And if you don't, you get a little bit wet. Then over here on the manual, hit the button for thread. And now it's starting to cycle, it should automatically thread it. It's right now pushing the wire from up here all the way through from the upper head to the lower head. Still threatened. 